showing is better than telling. So I would like to invite Vivek Bhardwaj on stage with me and to show you some more about BlackBerry 10. Thank you, Justin. It's great to be here. Great to have you back on stage, man. Thank you. So now from day one, our software and design teams have been focused on reimagining the mobile experience and have been motivated by simple but yet powerful concepts. We call it, and remember and mark those words. You will hear them again and again. We call them the BlackBerry Hub and the BlackBerry Flow. There's a whole new user paradigm in BlackBerry 10 that will excite every one of us. So why don't we start with a very simple action on the new BlackBerry 10 devices, which is just simply bring it to life and wake it up, Vivek. Yeah, sure. So BlackBerry Flow starts from the moment you wake up the device. You can see the lock screen, there's notifications, even my next event. But if you look at how I can touch the screen and control every area of it, and you can see how it just flows as I wish to lift it that up. That is great. Now, this simple gesture that Vivek is showing us, that allows a lot of very sensitive controls in many other applications on that device. Looks simple, but it is a fantastic control mechanism. Um, OK, so now we're awake with BlackBerry 10. And exactly. now you know, BlackBerry 10 users want to take action. So how do they do this, Vivek? So action is really important. And that's why we invented the gesture called BlackBerry Peak. And you can peak from any application. So if you see my calendar application, I'm able to pull it up, and there's all my notifications. It allows me to minimize the application, not close it, and continue to get back to what I was doing in one single motion. But not only that, we've made sure that Peak is available everywhere. So it doesn't matter if I'm on the second app pane or right at the end. You can always Peak. So. Actually, Vivek has one thumb in his pocket. He's doing this with one hand, with one thumb only, actually. Think about you running through an airport, right? You need to take action. It's that exactly. simple to get to this BlackBerry hub where everything comes together that matters to you, right? Really, really exciting. So um, if we think about how to use this in the BlackBerry flow in the BlackBerry hub, how do you deal with uh, you know, integrated messaging, calendar performance? Show us how it works, Vivek. Sure. So getting from peak to the hub is really easy. I continue to pull up anywhere on the screen. And I'll just move along to an app. And if I move across to the right, you can see the BlackBerry hub underneath, always accessible in this single gesture. So please understand that wherever you are on this device, Vivek, right? Where, whatever you do, Absolutely. right? It is this one single swipe gesture that gets you to the BlackBerry Hub, that gets you into action from exactly. wherever you are, correct? Absolutely. And as I get into the Hub, you can see everything's integrated, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, my email, BBM. Everything is inside this entire Hub. And the way it works is you decide what gets in your Hub, right? It's not being exactly. imposed on you. It is your decision of how you create and how you build that Hub, correct? Absolutely. And with BlackBerry Flow, it just makes it so easy, as you can see. Look at that. Moving across between different accounts. It is amazing. I love it. I love it. And again, watching Vivek and what he's doing, please Recall that he has not called any application yet, right? He does everything that he's doing within this hub and with this spectacular BlackBerry Flow user paradigm. Exactly, but it doesn't stop there. We looked at the BlackBerry Hub and we wanted to understand how could we make every single notification really important. So events are just as important as messages. So now I can peek in the hub to my events. And then I can actually click on an event and you can see that information. I get details, people at the meeting, and the beauty is I've never left the right. BlackBerry Hub. There you go. This is it. It's amazing. You, have, you even haven't seen an application grid yet, right? So with this one single gesture, you're in. You're in, and you're always in. And this hub is actually not a feature. It always runs on top of the platform. Exactly. It's intrinsic in the architecture, right? So, so what else can we do? 
So let me show you a little bit about the BlackBerry calendar. We've not only integrated flow inside this, but you can see that there's multiple views, whether it's agenda, people, or schedule. You can see how I can kind of move through day by day. I can even switch to people view. I get a list of all the different people I'm going to be meeting yep. that day. And then I can also move to week or month, where the big, bigger the date, the busier I am. And you can see I'm uh, pretty busy this week. Yeah, I hope so. But not only that, <laughs> I can peek down. <laughs> and I can move across between six months ahead as well, which I'm probably busy as well at that time. So as you can see, the minute I go into an agenda and I go to a meeting, we wanted to make sure that information is there. So again, straight from people, I can select an individual. And there you go. You can see all the integrated information, the connections we share on LinkedIn, the, the web page, or the Twitter, or the Facebook feed, or even the company information yep. of this individual. We actually pull all of this information down so that you actually have everything you need to hand. And even an activity timeline. So whether it be LinkedIn connectivity or the last time you went for dinner, you've got that information to hand. So think about, right? You're running for a meeting. Think practically, running for a meeting. And we all try to prepare for meetings, right? Sometimes we just don't have the time because you know, we're back to back. You're someone in a cab heading to a meeting. What would you do in order to get all that information around your meeting? You would have to go into context. You would have to go into browser. You would have to search the company. You would have to search on your social channels. Exactly. Right? You would be in and out, in and out, and really just crisscrossing everything. Here, it's one fingertip. And I get updates about that person and the company the person's working for. One hit with a thumb, one-handed, can still carry my bags and rush to an airport, right? But that's not all. I can actually look at all activities that I had with this person in the past and that I will have in the future as well. BlackBerry Hub and Flow. That is the new spectacular user experience. No more application grid and no more in and out. No more brain occupied with, damn it, which application am I using right now? Correct? You don't Absolutely. have to think about it anymore. Absolutely. It's magic. So why don't we show a little more? So. Um, Let's talk a little bit about BlackBerry, M, uh, BlackBerry, BlackBerry Messenger, BBM. Um, great feature, um, huge uptake, great social network that we're using, right? Um, and huge responses to it in Asia Pack. Uh, people actually use their BBM, use their PIN to identify themselves as an individual. So let's look at BBM in BlackBerry 10 for a second. Sure, and I believe BBM is now actually in the English dictionary, which is incredible. So, yeah, uh, right. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> So let me take you through BBM on BlackBerry 10. You can see how we've really brought the interface of flow and made sure that everything looks beautiful, whether it's a chat or even your contacts. You can see how everything looks so visually beautiful and stunning. I can move through all my different contacts and even my chats. And the minute I go into a chat, you can see the keyboard is ready to go. And I can start typing straight away. And that's Let's see. There. I'm always uh, running late. Um, OK. Oh, you don't. <laughs> OK. Um, I'll be there at 11. <laughs> there you go. And what's great about this is we've also integrated emoticons into the keyboard. So I type on the, uh, the section there, and you can see how the emoticons come into place. I can pick one, send the message, flick straight back to the keyboard. It's that easy. One thumb. One thumb. <laughs> right? Easy, easy flow, right? Natural, intuitive, right? So you've seen some of the BlackBerry keyboard. We've talked about next word prediction. We've talked about contextual awareness. And you saw me flicking the words up to the screen. But how about we show some more? So yep. one of the things we noticed about BlackBerry users is there's around 30% today of BlackBerry users out there who type in more than one language. I'm one of them. <laughs> German and English, and, and some French. <laughs> so. One of the things we wanted to look at is how we made it really easy to type between different languages. So now on BlackBerry 10, you can see I start to type Spanish. I can switch to English. And I'll even throw in some French. Um, and that's probably the best I can do on French. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I was never good at it at school, to be honest. <laughs> And you can see how the next word predictions have tailored for every single language, right? Without any incorrections, everything's there. 
I mean, I understand what you just saw. This is multilingual text prediction, phraseology. I can write German and English words in one sentence, and the device will understand what I'm doing. And it will not force me into one other language. It will also not force me to toggle between languages. It knows who I am. It actually right. knows which languages I'm working in. And it understands my personal text and style and my grammar, even. Exactly. So I'm still working on it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things you may have noticed as I opened up BBM, actually, is something we call active frames. So now, without even having to go into the application, you're always kept up to date. You can see here, a friend of mine has just changed their display picture just two minutes ago. And it continues to keep you updated in so many different BlackBerry 10 applications. Yep, I think we could go on for hours. There's so much more to show. Um, but I think we've we got to stop this one here because <laughs> I also want to talk a little bit about enterprise and bring your own device to work. Um, that is a trend that is out there and that has manifested itself. So that's why we innovated on BlackBerry Balance. So what BlackBerry Balance is doing, it actually allows you to have really two separate identities on one device. And those identities are separated down to the OS level because we have this multi-threaded OS as part of, as part of BB10. Right? So you're fully secured down to OS level on your corporate parameter, and you're fully secured and encrypted on your personal parameter. Let's take a look at how this works, Vivek. Sure. So by incorporating BlackBerry Flow, all I do anywhere on any app screen is just pull down. And you can see, as soon as I go into work, everything changes. Wallpaper, the interface, the applications. Now, that's the CIO talking to you, right? Absolutely. Saying what you can use and what you cannot use, correct? Exactly. And it's that easy to just go back and forth between Here the two modes. Here you go. Right. Here you go. Can you do the video? And uh, not only that, actually, yep. we, we also have an app world for work. So it's a dedicated client that your company wants to provide the apps that you can only use. So you can see here that app world for work is all my applications. I can move back. I can even launch the brand new BlackBerry 10 app world. Here you go. You have two, right? This is how this device works, right? You have even two videos now, basically two app worlds on that screen. And either one you pick, it gets executed on the parameter it belongs to, it's associated with. No more in and out of personal versus work, right? I can hit the personal application world, and here I go. I hit the corporate app world, and here I go. The device executes on those two totally separated, highly secured parameters. That is fantastic for CIOs because it takes this, this pain point of security protection of corporate data away. Exactly. And once you leave that company, you know, they just wipe the data, and here's your personal device, and work just exactly. disappears. Right? Amazing to see that. So many more innovations to talk about. Now, we got the device awake. Yep. We went through some actions. We went through the BlackBerry Hub. I think you have an idea of what this BlackBerry Flow is all about. Right now, haven't even used the app grid yet, right? So no. how do we put it to sleep when we need to go to sleep? <laughs> Which is pretty late these days. Um, <laughs> so you'll notice with BlackBerry Flow, I've obviously woken up the screen. But then when I want to put it to sleep, I just pull down. That is so cool. And you know what? I'll even set an alarm. Look at that. I'll be up early tomorrow. Vivek, this is really amazing stuff. <laughs> Thanks for working so hard on it with your teams. I'll really get back to it. Thank you. Thank you.